Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm just coming on today to do a little product review of the uh, Goat Story Goat Horn Coffee Mug. Um, I'm not sure if that's the proper name for it. It was a gift and it wasn't clearly labeled on the box per se. Um, first things first, the mug. Um, it's pretty cool. I like the shape. It's got that Viking feel to it in a coffee mug. I'm totally planning to drink beer and wine out of it, but for now it's just coffee. You know, it's kind of like the, the, the Viking sippy cup or the businessman's mead horn. Um, <clears throat> uh, one problem that I have with it, there's a couple problems that I have with it actually. Um, it was supposed to be when it was ordered real leather. Um, if you look at it, you smell it, you know it's not real leather. Um, if in here, the little seam, you can tell that it's got a fabric back to it. It's not real leather. Um, it's completely synthetic. Yeah, that's not real. It's a Naga hide. Um, the second thing is that, um, this is how I have my strap set up. It's set up to where you can wear it like this. It came with this little separate part that um, has a little snap on it. It was all put together in one big thing. Um, my complaint about this thing is the snap on it is super weak. Um, I've kind of figured out that if you put the, uh, the horn holder itself on the opposite side from the snap, uh, at least your pull doesn't go on the actual snap so that when the horn goes in it um, It creates a friction it won't slide and then it won't open the snap, you know um, I like to wear it like this because I've got the strap across my chest and then when I go to set it down I can just undo that snap pull it out and This also doubles as a stand for it um, I love the utility of it. I'm a big outdoorsman type of guy. I like I like all this Viking stuff. Um, I go out hike, hiking and camping and all that. So this is a very cool uh, new world take on an old world uh, fashion. I, I, I do like it a lot. Um, I just think uh, that that snap could have been a little sturdier. Um, have a little more grip to it so it didn't just let go, uh, which it does like to do. Um, and one, another thing is if you look real closely, you got these little holes right here. Um, these are, I guess, clipped to those holes to hold it at the top and bottom. Um, they're really hard to get in, or they're really hard to get out once you get them in. They're, they're easy to get in there. And like, I, I just don't see a point in them. If they're gonna be there, I feel like the holes should be a little bit bigger and maybe these rings could be like carabiner style rings uh, to just go through them. I don't know. Um, it's not really a complaint. It's really not a, a big deal there. But as you can see, once it holds on, the snap is undone right now. Once once the, the holder is in there, it, cre it, doesn't, it doesn't fall. So if the snap were to come undone, I wouldn't have to worry about losing my horn. However, um, if it was on the other side, now there's that chance that it would swing, come undone, fall, and get damaged. Um, so I've got it. I've got it set up like this right now. I'm um, getting ready to go to work myself. Um, this was just my quick uh, thing to. Uh, let you guys know what I think about this product and possibly to give a shout out to the people who create the product. Maybe think about, for one, making true on what you're saying. If you're saying that it's real premium leather, then make it out of real premium leather. If you're going to make it out of Naga Hide, make it out of Naga Hide, but say that you're going to make it out of Naga Hide and don't charge people extra money for something that isn't what you're saying it is. Um, all in all, um, 
I give this product a 7.5, uh, 8 out of 10, being generous for what it is. Um, this, it's really sleek, it's really stylish. I, I do really enjoy the product. Um, and that's all I got for you today, guys. Thanks.